Wiki Jackson. Hello YouTube, this is Jacob Torres from wikijackson.com along with Jack Jackson from wikijackson.com. What's up guys? And today we will be showing you how to make a very uh, nice custom drop down menu using jQuery, HTML, and CSS. And uh, just to note, me and Jack are trying out a new recording method today where we both have individual microphones and uh, so there will be more times where both of us are talking throughout the video. Yeah. So, um, so be sure to rate up this video and leave a comment if you enjoy this new method. Anyway, so let's jump right into it. Basically, wh what how the drop down menu functions is you click on the very first option, which can say select a whatever. We have it to say select a computer because that we use this on our website on our computer build page. And basically, when you click it, the rest of the menu items drop down. And uh, when you scroll over each one, it'll change color. And when you roll off the menu in any direction, the whole thing will disappear. And there are nice jQuery UI effects added to that which aren't necessary but we'll get to that later so anyways going into Dreamweaver you can see that we have a blank index.html file of course you can call yours whatever you want and in between the body tags we're just going to paste in the first bit of code which I have all of the code shown right here and this will be available for download uh, in the description also on wikijackson.com slash tutorials but um, basically this first part is just the actual drop down menu without styling or functionality so if you view this in Safari over here, then you can see that it's just very plain, very standard, nothing too special, and it's not much to work off of. But it will get there soon enough. So back in Dreamweaver, I'll go ahead and explain this code. Basically, the entire uh, dropdown is covered or er, is encompassed in a divider called dropdown, and it just holds everything on the inside, all of the list items, and then on the inside we have our first divider with an ID of one and a class of list. Basically the ID of one just represents that it's the first list item that will be shown and usually in drop down menus we have something like this that says select a computer or select a, an option or select a whatever. You'll see that on many websites today. So we have it with an ID of one so that we could use that to target the click method in jQuery which again I'll go over more in detail later. And then under that, we have this rest of list divider, which encompasses the last five items of our list. And this is basically so we could use it to hide these five items when the page is first loaded, such as this. As you can see, none of those last five items are there. And when we click it, then that list will show. And we'll be able to do all of this in jQuery using these IDs. And under here, I have each individual list item and its own divider with a unique ID for each of them. And uh, you don't need the unique IDs, this is just for if you're using it for different stylings or different jQuery methods like we are at Wiki Jackson. But all of them do need to have this class of list or else it will not function properly. And this first one has to have an ID of one. So just keep the, that in mind. And the main HTML part of this video is done. So now we're going to move on to the styling. First off, we have to go in between the head tags and create two new style tags with a type of text slash CSS and we're going to close off the style and I'll just go ahead and paste in this CSS code inside here into here and as you notice the uh, the code itself is wrapped around these two style tags uh, make sure you put those because that is the way that the code translates to the the HTML below and uh, make sure it's style type equals uh, quotation marks text forward slash CSS and the quotation marks in the caret. Okay so like Jack was saying this has to be encompassed in a style tag with an attribute a type attribute of text slash CSS so that it recognizes it as well CSS styling. So now going over each individual uh, item in the CSS file we basically have the dot list which is each individual list item because we gave it each of them a class of list so we could just target all of them at once in CSS and we have a cursor of default which just changes the cursor from this little typing cursor to the standard cursor that you see um, on my screen right here and the second part is we have a vertical align of central so it just aligns it to the center not to the top or to the bottom it's just an aesthetic thing it's not going to change the functionality of this it'll just look nicer we have a padding of 5 pixels also just to make it look nice, a width and height of 200 pixels for width and 20 pixels for height, 
that's just to make a bigger area for you to actually click on and have the drop down menu come out we have a background color of pound ccc again it's just for looks along with a border of a uh, one pixel black border and we also have a margin of zero so that everything is pushed up nice and close together so if we refresh this in code view you can see that the changes have already taken place and if we save this and view it in safari the changes will take place here as well but obviously there's still no drop down functionality because all that will happen in jquery so the next part of this video will be implementing the jQuery libraries into your document. So to do this you can go ahead and head on over to Google API libraries page and get the uh, sources for jQuery and the jQuery UI because these are the two that we will be using and then I noticed some problems with the Google API links uh, they do not include this type equals text slash JavaScript, which you do need, so make sure to add that in. And also, it does not have the HTTP colon. It just starts with slash slash, which you also need, or else the functionality of this will not work. Um, so after that, we can go ahead and add the actual jQuery, starting with a script with a type of text slash JavaScript, just like before. And we'll end that off. So I'll copy in this jQuery code from my other document, which like I said, will be down below in the description as well as on wikijackson.com. And right now, basically, this drop-down menu will now function because it is just simple jQuery. It's only about, I don't know, I would say 20 lines of coding. So if you view this in Safari and refresh it, it will now work completely. So uh, we'll go back into Dreamweaver and explain the code for anyone who would like to edit it in any way that they like. Basically, the first part of the jQuery is wrapped around this document.ready function, which basically means that when the document is loaded on your web page, everything that is in here will happen. So the first part in this is our uh, divider with an ID of rest of list will be hidden. As you can see in Safari, none of those last five items are shown, and that is because of this line right here. The next part is right here we have the dot list, which is every single individual uh, divider item we have it when your mouse enters each one then it'll change the CSS properties the background color to a lighter gray and you could also see that in Safari when you roll over it, it becomes a bit of a lighter gray or hashtag DDD which is the hex code for that specific color and we have the same thing when the mouse leaves it it'll revert back to its original color or hashtag CCC um, the next part is we have the divider with an ID of 1, which is the first list item. When that is clicked, then the rest of list, or the last five items, will be shown. And I also add an effect on here, blind of 250. We could just get rid of that. And if we go back into Safari, you'll see that the drop-down effect has gone away. It just kind of appears suddenly. So, again, that's an aesthetic thing. Not necessary, but it makes it look a, not, a lot nicer. A lot more clean. Thank you, Jack. You're welcome. Okay, and then the last part of this is when our mouse leaves the dropdown, which is the entire divider, all of it together. When your mouse leaves that, then the rest of list, or the last five items, will hide. So going back into Safari, if we refresh this page, the blind effect was again added to the uh, to when it when you click on the first item and then when you leave it'll blind itself back up into this part which makes it, which makes it look like more of a drop down menu so that basically concludes this tutorial uh, like I said all of the source code will be linked down in the description at wikijackson.com slash tutorials dot php go ahead and visit there alright if you like this video make sure you rate it up uh, subscribe to our channel Comment if you have any questions, and uh, w visit wikijackson.com for more information. Alright, later guys.